Creating text in 3D is an easy process and I thought we could go ahead and take a look at the text tool and uh, also explore some of the options that are easily overlooked. So I'm going to go ahead and come over to the Create tab and click Text. And I'm just going to left click and drag. And wherever I left click and drag, I'm putting my guide here of where it's going to, where I can start typing. So I'm just going to type out Lightwave. Okay. And I'm going to go full screen so we can just see what's happening here. Now, before we open up the numeric panel, let's take a look at what we have interactively without using the numeric panel. Okay. If I just left click and drag, I can decide where I'm going to place this new geometry. Okay. If I grab the handle that's right here, it looks like a T, I can scale, I can change the size of my new geometry. Okay, I'm just left clicking and dragging. If I grab the handle that's on the, the lower bar here, I can change the kerning. Kerning is the spacing between, it's the space between the letters. So I can decide that I want to um, change the kerning and have lots of space or tighten it up and have uh, very little space. So that's that handle right there. So again, left click and drag to move it around. I can left click and drag this top handle to scale it and I can left click and drag this um, bottom handle to change the kerning all without having to go to the numeric panel. Now while I have this tool active I'm going to want to avoid using the shortcut key for the numeric panel because the shortcut key for the numeric panel is in and now it says light wave in uh, unless I meant to do that, that's not a good thing. So just know while the tool is active, you're going to want to avoid uh, shortcut key uh, for numeric. But if I come down here and click numeric, I'm just going to slide, I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so we can see our text while we take a look. Okay, so I can always go in and change the text in this input field, or I can just type it right out here. But I can change this, let me go space 3D. Okay, and I just added that, so I can always uh, type it out numerically. I can pick the font that I want to work with. Okay, if you want to add a font, we can come over to Create Manage Fonts, and we can add fonts with the Manage Fonts tool. But by default, Lightwave is going to scan and look at the system fonts. Okay, so I can change my alignment. Do I want it left justified? Do I want it right justified? So now. I've got to move this over here if we want to see it. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to center and I can have it type out from the center of my guide. I'm going to go left and that's what I usually use it with. Um, that's the, usually the setting I use. But if I do want to center it um, or, or have it right justified, I can do that. Okay, I can pick the axis that I want to um, uh, type out, but we're working in the Z, so that's why I'm going to leave that as Z. I can change the scale here numerically or with a mini slider, and it's the same as grabbing the top of the handle here. I can change where I'm placing it. I can do that interactively, or I can key it in manually. I can manually change the kerning with the kern setting. And then the corners, this is an interesting one that uh, many people overlook. By default, if I zoom in, I'm going to go over, say, the W. By default, it would really bring it in like this. And there's extra points on this geometry. Now, by changing the corners to sharp, it gets rid of that extra geometry. That's why it's set the default. And that's usually what you want. Because if you go to bevel and you have those extra points in corners, well, you could... Uh, end up crossing over and causing problems that you have to fix. But just know that's what's going on with the corners. Buffered is going to give you what the actual font is wanting to give you. Sharp is going to get rid of those extra points. Um, so depending on what you're, what you're needing for your model and what you're constructing, you might choose between sharp and buffered. Okay? So don't overlook that. That's, a, that's one that I see a lot of people overlook and sometimes you want those extra, extra points. Okay, there's, um, there's one more thing that I want to look at. I'm going to just slide over here to the A. And we can see we've got all these points. Okay, and um, for what we're working on, maybe that's too many or maybe that's not enough. Now, that's not an option to change here in the numeric panel, but there is an option in Lightwave that allows you to change that. So what I'm going to do is close the numeric panel, just zoom out, 
And I'll go ahead and commit. I hit the space bar to commit and that put a space in my text. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to go over to O for general options and where it says curve divisions. Now this affects splines and curves, but it also affects the um, divisions in your text. So if you want it to have more segments, if you want it to have more sides on here, then you'll go ahead and switch to fine. If you want to have less, switch to coarse. By default, it's set to medium. This is another option that a lot of people um, overlook. So if you're wanting more geometry or less geometry when you're making your text, hit O for general options and come over to curve divisions to adjust that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit OK. And you, you need to do that before you create your text. It's not going to, to affect it afterwards. Okay, then there's just one other thing that you might want to explore when working with text. Uh, and that would be to come over to Create. And there's Text Layers. If you want, you can automate um, the like logo creation by not only creating the text, but you can have it automatically extruded, you can have it automatically beveled, uh, you can break it up into individual layers, you can give it different surface names for the face, the side, and the bevel. So this will kind of automate the process, and there are several tools like that in um, in Lightwave where you can use the multi-text, the logo, the make text. Uh, the default text tool is just the text tool and it gives you what you need to get going and go from there. Uh, and then you've got other text tools like the text layer, multi-text logo, make text, and manage font. So you're going to want to explore all of those uh, and um, you'll be up and running creating 3D text in no time.